American Jewish women are giving birth later in life than the average woman in this country. The Pew Research Center study of American Jews also found that Jews aged 40 to 59 have an average 1.9 children, slightly lower than the average 2.2 children of the general public. The lower birth weight implies the Jewish population in the U.S. is shrinking. Studies show Jewish women have a high rate of professional careers, and across the country, highly educated women are more likely to have children later in life. Many people spend a lot of time thinking about how to create the most advantageous conditions for their careers, and they don't spend as much time strategizing their personal lives. Fishman said some Jewish women delay having children, and then biological realities catch up with them. The Jewish ritual, family, holidays, they all revolve around children. And a Jewish couple who is not able to conceive sees a loss. It's Grunfeld's job to help people have children. He works with Orthodox Jews to ensure they don't violate Jewish religious laws like family purity. But while medical treatment is there to help, not everyone wants to have children. I don't think that many Jews outside of the Orthodox and uh, a small number of non-Orthodox Jews think in terms of the larger good for the larger collective, be it, be it Jewish life or be it, be it America. I think most people look at this decision as a very personal decision. Piper Hoffman and her husband were both raised as observant Jews. They started having discussions about how they might want to raise their children. And one day, somehow, my brain wandered into, what if we just don't have kids? And uh, man, that felt good. It just felt really good. Hoffman questioned the sacrifices involved. Parents give up a lot of time, freedom, money. Um, it's a big commitment to have children. And I found that since I didn't have that desire, for me, those sacrifices weren't worth it. She runs a website, choosingchildfree.com. For a lot of folks, they graduate college, they get married, the next thing to do is to have kids, and they don't necessarily question, do I personally have a burning desire to have children or not? While Hoffman said she's been under some pressure to have kids, she said as long as Judaism is valuable and adds meaning to people's lives, it'll survive. We don't live in the kind of world where a community says to people, oh, it's really important to us that you have X number of children. We live in a kind of world where the community can um, make it easier for people to have children or to raise children if, that, if, if it's a pronatalist goal, uh, but they can't make the decision for people. With advancements in fertility treatments, pregnancies are now viable through the age of 55, making it easier for Jewish women to give birth later in life. But there are biological realities. Experts call on Jewish communal leaders to make it easier for women to have and raise children. This is Zach Badur for JN1 in New York.